Oh. We are buddies and we like to play games in the new Bed Buddies! Hello, and welcome to Bear Buddies. Bear Buddy. I fucking, I'm never gonna get that right, I'm sorry. Um, I'm playing a new game, because I was that fed up of, uh, Sniper Elite. Anyway, this is a, a Rockstar game. Guys that made GTA. <laughs> this is Bully. I don't know if anyone played this, but this was a, a PS2 game, uh, or Xbox okay, Rich, uh, 360, I guess. My and your fat and uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you rat. <laughs> um, yeah, I have very fond memories of this game as a kid, so I thought it would be good fun to play, and I hope it's still just as fun as it used to be, but... Okay, we'll just skip this. We don't need to know this. Basically, he's a bully. He's not a nice guy. We'll probably get a proper introduction as soon as we start the game. So, um, how is everyone? Cool, me too. Uh, I, yeah, I, I just had enough with Sniper Elite. Fucking three... Oh, um, yeah, it it annoyed me so much, and I will probably play it on my own and make up my own mind about it off camera. But playing it on Bear Buddies was uh, was enough for me at least. So yeah, welcome to Bullworth. Here we go. So basically, I've been dropped off at this super posh. Why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? This posh like private school. I can't believe this. Because he's... I think it's a boarding school. Be the Hopkins boy. Oh, you come from? look We've at that face. You. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very mm. happy indeed. That little like... Anyway, I can't spend my life... Line on my head. Naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. Oh. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. <laughs> okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. This, uh... Don't keep Dr. Crabble so much waiting. <laughs> this game is He's made so, man. so made for, like, brilliant. teenage boys. It's ba it basically, I think, was supposed to be a... a um, kid-friendly GTA so like there's loads of like suggestible stuff in like look it looks so much like GTA already here we go depending on how hard you push the left analog stick Jimmy will move at different speeds who are these guys sorry yeah this is so so uh, GTA right oh are they following me to beat me up hey your grandpa dying leave you his Oh man, I love the like really bad audio quality recordings of these these games. Um, yeah, this this is basically like a, a GTA for um, uh, for kids. <laughs> it's like the best way I can describe it. Uh, anyway, we need to go to the principal's office. So let's go. How do I get there? Do I need to go in? Oh, I might need to go in the building. Can I get in down here? I can. This is so nostalgic. This like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. Do, do, do. Can I knock him out? There we go. I was gonna say I remember like the the prefects are like the police in this. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to follow it, but it's telling me. Uh, okay, yeah. I need to go to the front door. Here we go. I keep having this dream about staying up all night. The uh, controls for this are a little bit janky, I'm not gonna lie. It's like trying to push you to the left a little bit constantly, but that's fine. I'm playing this on PS4, by the way, because they, uh, they re-released this. I went in, come on, there we go. So I am playing this on a like an updated console, I guess. Um. 
Here we are. If the X is on a different floor, it will appear as up or down on the right. Okay, cool. So we need to go upstairs. Oh my god, look at all these different shaped people. <laughs> One of those girls that like Mike TV in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when he gets stretched out. Uh, what is going on with these controls? This is a bit of a nightmare. Like I said in the previous uh, episode though, I think I need a new controller because my... Uh, actually, maybe I didn't say this. I've found out I've got dust. I'll, hang on, let's pause for a second. Watch this cutscene. I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me Very see. good. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, <laughs> graffiti, bad Talks language, like violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. <laughs> the and script for this is so bad. Members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. <laughs> no more than you deserve, Headmaster. I, I, I can't work out if the script is like genius or awful because it's kind of like. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along. It seems quite self aware, right? And quite self referential and jokey. You will have a clean nose, so keep it clean, <laughs> or we'll clean it for you. But I wonder if that's just a sign of like because it's super old, it's funny now, or if at the time it was still like that, so you know what I mean? I probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. It's like talking to himself. <laughs> Someone comes in, they're like, are you talking to yourself? It's like, uh, no, no, go away, get out! Go to the boys' dorm. Um, right, okay, so everyone everyone is corrupt. I don't really remember the storyline in this. I remember specific things. Here we go, here's a prefect. I remember specific things in, the, in this game, like riding a, a bike, uh, and there's like a slingshot and stuff. Um, oh, I need to go downstairs. Um, anyway, like I was saying before, um, I was having some control uh, issues, PS4 controller, uh, and uh, actually you, you might have seen it in a Sniper Elite episode, because I think I mentioned it, um, that I would be aiming and then it would just start doing its own thing. Um, so I googled it. Um, and I, I googled like controller drift because the switch joy cons do the same thing and I wondered if there was a way to like recalibrate the controllers because you can do that with a switch and it's super easy oh I remember that that building over there is the boys dorm I do remember this now um, but yeah uh, it turns out that's it's not an issue and oh here we go Time for a beat down. I'm a 15 year old boy with a man's voice. Okay, look at that punch. Oh, I have to hold it. What do I... What do I push? I thought it was square. Come on. Come on, come on. I think he needs to punch me. Okay, yeah, right, there we go. Now it'll let me attack. Boom! Anyway, yeah, so I, I googled it, I had a look on uh, on Reddit, um, and it turns out that the, the problem is that there's, there's probably dust in my controller, um, and there's not really a fix for it. 
um, which is kind of annoying. Like people say, get like some compressed air and uh, and blow out the kind of um, kick him in the nuts, blow out the like the dust from under the bit where the analog sticks sit. Um, and some people say just blow in it and it will fix it for sort of a couple of hours, but it's kind of frustrating. I hope they, they fix that with the PS5. You can... <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. Uh, anyway, yeah, so my controller's fucked, basically. Um, and the only way to fix it is to kind of blow into it every couple of hours. I love these character models. They're super funny. And quirky. Very GTA-esque. Right, now we're in the boys' dorm. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Oh, that no. I said relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. <laughs> Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. So it's up to you. I can't remember if this guy's nice good or bad. Or... I assume he's good. Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? The toughest school in the country. Your health bar is located to the left of the radar. Okay. Get a drink from the soda machine. Man, I love games that are this fun. Uh, oh, I can read the bulletin board. What's on here? Important notices. Well, yeah, that's usually what a bulletin board is. Uh, the principal's office is located on the second floor of the school. Wow. Super interesting. Let's buy a drink. I love how blurry all the buttons are. <laughs> you should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. I like to buy stuff for people so they will like me. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I remember. You have to, like... Liquid sugar. You, you have to be in uniform, otherwise people get properly, like, pissed at you. I think the prefects come after you, or the teachers or something. Change clothes. Here we go. There we go. Oh, i got my PJs. Oh, they're not quite as exciting as I thought they would be, or custom. Okay, we need our school uniform, so there we go. you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. <laughs> I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask me how I'm doing. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well... ADD primarily, but I also they were life, my parents, the school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. BD, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? Hey, leave Pete alone. You? Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you How come they have different uniforms? Jimmy can't stand you already. He's in a green uniform. Anyway. Who knows? Let's save here. Um seems like a good place to to pause thanks for joining uh yeah join us next time and we'll we'll play some more bully uh and we'll beat up some kids um that'll be fun bye <laughs>
please don't take that out of context.